Goldilocks interviews Sonny Siaki. Everything I said about Jeff Jarrett being the world's worst Steve Austin, I apologize. Yeah. Because he's a thousand times better at being Steve Austin than Sonny Siaki is at being The Rock. He's just nothing. He's just <laughs> nothing there. He's doing this terrible impression, calling himself by the third person constantly. Then he has to tell a joke. Mm. Like The Rock. Mm. Yes. The joke was, are you referring to the part where he credited Elvis Presley for beating women? That's what he liked Elvis No, about. there was another joke. I didn't write it down because it was so stupid. Mm. But it was something like, he had some catchphrase or something. That like, I can't remember. But it was stupid. <laughs> and it wasn't funny. Right, right. And uh, I was like, God, why does uh, this guy have to be The Rock? Take this in the spirit which it's intended. But there was a charm to The Rock and the way he insulted people and the way he... Uh, uh, was the lecherous was towards women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was a charm to it. Yes. And there's no charm to Sunday Siaki at all. No. Hey, you know, speaking of impressions, old L.A. Night on Raw Monday, The Miz, of all people, the bane of my existence comes out, and Miz decides to do the first half of his promo mocking L.A. Night, as in doing an impression of L.A. Night. Oh, boy. This was the greatest thing Miz has done in his entire career. Really? I'm talking by miles. I mean, you got to go back and watch The Miz pretending that he's L.A. Knight. Like, he was so great. And not even pretending that, you know, everyone knows that L.A. Knight is just ripping off Steve Austin and, and The Rock. I mean, he was great. So... I reckon, and then he had to be himself again, and then it just kind of went off a cliff. But when he was being L.A. Knight, he was unbelievable. It was the best thing I ever seen the guy do. So Sonny Siaki versus Monty Brown. Oh my God! How long did this go? Too long. I didn't write it down here. I uh, believe it or not, only ten minutes and fourteen seconds. That's impossible. Yeah. Only. Yeah. I. You know. Listen. I got. I got COVID. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm all by myself in this house. I got nowhere to go. I got nothing to do. It still took me four separate attempts to get through this show. I'm not sure I made it through this before I had to give up and go, like, lay somewhere else. This fucking thing went on for years and years and years and years. And it just fucking kept going. So, among the many problems with this, I think... And I by no means sure, but I think Monty Brown is a babyface. I think he is. Sonny Siaki is clearly a heel. He hates his partners. He hates his own gimmick. He hates the announcers. He hates the fans. They come out here and do a match where Monty grounds him and tears him apart for about nine of those ten minutes. It's Monty Brown, the babyface, holding Sonny Siaki down in a boring gin lock to set up Sonny Siaki's fiery comeback. Which, when it finally happens... A, it's just stomps, and B, nobody cheers for him because he's an asshole. God. <laughs> and think about this. Out of all the people that the WWE wanted, they hired Monty Brown. He got, this was not the best Monty Brown. <laughs> Monty <sighs> Brown had a lot of potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay. uh, if this, you insist. This, it was not on display this was, here. Uh, well, he was wrestling Sonny Siaki. He couldn't have a more boring match. And Sonny Siaki, when he was, the very first day that he was with the Flying Elvises, he looked great. But now he has to be The Rock. And, uh, yeah, golly mother. Don West was the best worker in this match. <laughs> he was screaming about how incredible this match was, and I believed him at one point. Oh, wow. Yeah. Salesman. He never got me. Yes. So uh, after taking the entire match, Monty makes a comeback. He's trying to hit a slam, but then Jeff Jarrett distracts him, and suddenly hits a low blow and gets the pin. So, let's recap. Uh, Sonny pins Monty after Jarrett distracts him. Then the Bullets, Bullet Bob and his Max Bullet, they come out and distract Jarrett, which lets Monty Brown attack Jarrett, and then Brian Lawler attacks Jarrett with a chain. You got all that? No, but go ahead. Okay. Please don't recap. Goldilocks interview slash, and I wrote down his new friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is another one, dude. Everybody remembers the midget in the trash can. Nobody remembers the midget pulling a fucking firearm on Jeff Jarrett. Okay? And you know what people really don't remember? 
They don't remember when NWA TNA in episode 11, is that what this was? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They debuted a character named Cobain, whose gimmick, as God is my witness, is I love suicide. And heroin. And heroin, yes. His fucking name is Cobain. Yeah. And he loves, and I quote, the thrill of Actually, suicide. It, it, it's even dumber, if I may. Oh, please. His exact sentence was, the thrill of suicide yes. is what I live for. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say this again in case you think I screwed something up or making yes. a joke. No. <laughs> the thrill of suicide is what I live for. Yeah. Now, I see where we're going, Brian. Uh, I do want to point here, uh, point out here. In August of 2002, Kurt Cobain was very much alive. So, what? Yes. Yeah. He had a year and a half to go. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. So it's not as tasteless as it sounds. I was watching... Uh... No wonder no one remembers it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. We, we, we have much God worse. damn. No, you idiot. April 5, 1994. You idiot. Yeah, he, this He's been we dead nice. for nine oh. years of suicide. Yeah, oh, 94. you're right. I am a complete idiot. You dummy. I'm a complete idiot. God. Yeah. Tidbit, they found his bur- they found his body on my 22nd I birthday. was going to say, oh, there's absolutely no yeah. no conceivable we, way this came before. We were in high school. I agreed with you, man. Yeah. I'm yes. sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. I, I forgot how goddamn old I am. Chimney Christmas. I have my time. My brain. Okay. Yeah. You no, idiot. I, I so let's start over after. again. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. had a character yeah. named Cobain. Yeah. 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 Nine years after, ten, Thank eight you. years after the death yeah. of Kurt Cobain, yeah. whose gimmick was that I love suicide is what I live for was yeah, his yeah. gimmick. Yeah. Yes. My brain's melted. Yeah. That's the dumbest thing I've ever done. It's way up there, dude. That's really you way sold it there. so well. I agreed with you at first, Vinny. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. So Cobain here says he dreams of overdosing on the nectar of his own pain. I howl like a dog in heat at the sight of my own blood. It's a game of life and death. Either way is fine with me. <laughs> this is content. Well, I mean, the, 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 well the content is, is much darker, but the, 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 the verbiage is straight out of NXT here. It was, it was like, first, first it's, it's Cobain and Slash, okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. Slash has to cut some goofy fucking promo. Which was straight out of NXT. Then we had Cobain talking about living for suicide. And uh, and then, you know, I'm like, who in the fuck? Yes, you also looked it up? Is Cobain. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, who was it? Oh, I it's... just looked it up, and uh, Lane Staley of Allison Sheens died a few months before this of oh. a heroin overdose. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. Ten years uh, to the day after Cobain died. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, playing the part of Cobain here in NWA TNA was Flash Flanagan from Ohio Valley. What? Flash Flanagan. Yeah. Yeah. Really? This was Flash Flanagan. Which explains why he was the best worker in the following match. So it's a four-way tag match. So we couldn't have Slash and Flash. No. We had, we had to have <laughs> Slash and Cobain. Yeah, yeah. And oddly enough, uh, Guns N' Roses and Nirvana absolutely hated each other, and they were rivals to the day Cobain died. Eight years between Staley and Cobain, Craig. Okay. Anybody else want to botch a fact? <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.